Awesome. Hi, friends. Now that you know the basics of bidding, what is a bid, the sequence, whatnot, how you land on the contract, it's time to go over some guidelines that people commonly use to assess their hand to decide what to bid. Why is this important? Well, as I mentioned, you're using your bids to communicate with your partner what's in your hand so you guys can converge on the best bid for both of you. So you wanna know that the bid that your partner is making means the thing that you think it means. So that's why we need to kind of have this shared understanding of what bids are. So the most common way by far, pretty much everyone who plays bridge uses this is called high card points. And what you do here is you essentially give yourself points for the high cards in your hand. So an ace is four points, a king is three, a queen is two, a jack is one, and all your other cards are worthless in this point system. So you're gonna look at your hand. Uh, we can take a look at this hand and uh, you count up the points and you see, okay, there's one king, that's three points. There's an ace, that's four, that's seven. Now we have a jack, that's a one. So we've got eight points and that's all that's in this hand. So that would be eight points total for this hand. So let's take a look at David's hand. It looks like David has a one queen of spades. So that's two points. Then a queen of hearts, which is another two points and an ace of hearts, which is another four points. So that would be a total of eight points, which is like reasonable, close to an average hand. So, you know, thinking about the point system, we've got aces are four, we've got four aces in the deck. We've got kings at three, we've got four kings, we've got queens at two, that's four queens. And we have four jacks at one and there are four jacks. So if you add up all those points, it's 40 points total. 40 points total, four players, the average number of points that you're gonna have is 10. So if you have more than 10 points, you have an above average hand, and if you have less than 10 points, you have a below average hand. And so that can help you to decide when you're bidding, hey, are we gonna make more than half the tricks? Because to make a bid, you need to be making more than half the tricks. Now, you have to keep in mind that uh, it's not just about you, it's about your partner too. So really what you want is for you and your partner to have better than average, so more than 20 points, 10 plus 10. So let's take a look at the lobster's hand here. So high card points, you get points for each high card. The lobster has one jack, so that's one point, which is a pretty bad hand. Average is 10, that's only one, that's pretty bad. So that's some high level in terms of the point system, what's a good hand, how that can help you to decide what to bid. Now, when you're bidding, you're also deciding what suit you have. So to determine a suit, a rule of thumb that, again, pretty much everyone uses is that you wanna have eight cards in the suit that you pick as your super suit. So that means that if I have five hearts and my partner has three, that's eight, and that's a good choice for a super suit. And if you don't have eight or more cards in a suit between you and your partner, that might be the time that you think about no super suit. So that's some high level guidance in terms of points and then how you decide your super suit. And now we're gonna go into that thing I mentioned about going big and when you wanna go big. So stay tuned to the next video.